Want one of these cute little guys as your pet tame in small land? I'm going to show you guys how. Hello at Bags, it's Jade. Here's how you get a wolf spider pet. So first off you need to head over to the swamps and we're going to be talking to the Sandra. In this den you'll be safe from the spiderlings as long as you don't hit them. I don't think they fight back anyway. But there are any other spiders that manage to follow you in, you will have to kill them first. You can get a bunch of silk here FYI too. She'll have the armors that she can craft for you. Obviously it's the silk spider set. And she should update the location of the boss, showing you where the albino spider is. But here's Lissandra, and that's where we got to head to for the boss fight. You can see it's just to the bottom left, or to the far west of the map. The swamp is phenomenally dangerous, filled with wolf spiders and black widows, so make sure you've got plenty of antidotes. The best thing to do is go to the edges, try and lure some on so you can get some poison glands if you don't pick any up from some hornets, and then hopefully be able to craft the antidotes before going in. I believe wasps also give you some of the poison glands which you'll need for the antidotes. The location for the boss fight cave is slightly to the south of the marker. There'll be a bunch of cliffs stopping you going through, and then you'll find a small opening. And inside, you've got the most terrifying thing ever, an albino spider. Now actually, it's not the hardest boss fight that you'll encounter in small lands. As long as you bring some decent hammer weapons, it seems to be the best thing to attack it with. Obviously, do not use any kind of poison weapons on any spiders, pretty much, as they've got nil to little effect. And from my experience, it looks like they are quite resistant to most piercing damage. So no arrows and no scythes or even pickaxes. I went to town with the hammer and I got some nice shots in slow-mo. I find the best method is to kind of rush it. Take any stamina potions just beforehand and make sure you've got plenty of health and antidote potions ready to go. In real time, it's got a pounce attack that can be pretty deadly alongside that poison doing a lot of damage as well. Again, I am using a pretty end game item here. This is the Iron Hammer, so it does do an incredible amount of damage. You can see there, 41 to 50, maybe on certain hits. Try and get in close though. As you can see, you're not doing much damage against its legs, so you really do need to get close to its body and try and get around it. I don't think there's too many weak points on these creatures. It does look like at the back there it might have done more damage, but that might have just been a critical hit, as I don't think it replicated too many times. Soon as your health starts dipping below 30, pop a potion and make sure again you've got that antidote going as well. Luckily there are no adds taken on this boss, you don't have to worry about any other creatures fighting you. And yeah, just look out for the attack there, which did quite a lot of damage, luckily my potion had just kicked in. A few more hits and it was defeated. Now you can go ahead and craft the armors before fighting this, you don't need to defeat this boss to get access to the armors, but what you do get access to is the albino spider eye, and this is what's going to help you craft the treat that you're going to need for the wolf spiders. Take it back to Lysandra and then she will then give the recipe for you to go ahead and craft. She then give you some story about where to go next and who to talk to and what boss you'll be taking on also next. It's so back at base, check your cauldron and you should see it now pop up at the bottom underneath the grasshopper tree. Three treats can be crafted at the cauldron, one of them can be crafted at the oven, FYI. They do need quite a lot, one grasshopper leg, two spider eyes, three insect wings and one petal. Not forgetting two seed oil, so you will obviously have to have had the grinder unlocked as well and you'll have to have killed a few spiders by this point. It's not too easy actually getting hold of these. You have to beat it into submission just like you do with the grasshopper and then at some point it will say that you can tame it, usually when it just gets to half health. Because they roam around usually in twos or threes pretty close to each other, you'll get ganged up on. This can really reduce your health obviously and make things very, very hard. And even when you've tamed your spider, it will probably go and get into a fight with a bunch of others and probably end up getting killed because it's got so little health. You can replenish the health just like you can with the grasshopper again by dropping any kind of food below it that says you can feed it and it will munch on it. So the best thing to do is to really try lure one away at a time and see if you can separate it from the, any others. Or obviously try and thin them out a little bit and kill a couple of them trying to leave only one alive. And again, I do believe you cannot tame any of the nocturnal ones, so don't do this at night time. Make sure you've got plenty of time during the day. 
Eventually, when you got one, you manage to heal it up. You can then proceed to get it back through the swamp. Now, the best thing to do is to save scum, kind of, log out and log back into your base. And unless they change anything in the coming weeks, you should spawn back on your tree base if you've set one up. Your mount will actually follow you there magically too. Otherwise, good luck. You probably best off avoiding other creatures because they're not very strong against fellow wolf spiders or other spiders. Naturally, because they've got poison, that's the main thing you'll be attacking other creatures with. In terms of actually maneuverability, it doesn't jump. Again, unless there's something wrong with the controller that I was using, I couldn't find any way to make the spider even do a little hop. So you're constantly looking around for places that it can crawl up. Surprisingly, it can't actually go up vertical walls although the gecko later on can, but you will be able to get up certain inclines, so try and lead it out of the swamp as quickly as you can. Obviously it takes much use of the stamina when you're running and you will go a little bit quicker. And just like other creatures, you don't necessarily want to get these in the water, as that's a surefire quick way to kill them. So yeah, this guy, even though I was attacking much more than the spider attacking me, I, seemed, I thought I got lots of hits in, this guy messed me up and I was full health as well, so I was pretty disappointed. You probably are better off getting off your mount and trying to help it out, but you've always run the risk of killing your own. But I did find another one pretty close by, and it didn't take long to batter it in submission and then tame it once more. You can tell your spider to wait, or you can release it and it will revert to being wild. Also be careful with your friends, if they accidentally hit you, your spider or your creatures may get aggro, even with friendly fire turned off. I took care of these bugs, good enough I suppose, but obviously I could see I was losing quite a big chunk of health there. And obviously, yeah, my friend Spice here gave me a whack and then had to run for his life as it chased him. And yes, this was with a PvP turned off. So it's early access, early days, but they have to absolutely buff the health of these guys. I think they're relatively meant to be easy to get, but with so many different spiders in that biome poisoning you, and considering this is meant to be roughly an early creature that you can actually unlock, I feel like it's still just not worth it. Either bump the actual values up or make it even easier to craft and get some of the lures to actually go ahead and get them. You should maybe have to defeat a big boss just to get hold of one. I think the reward for killing it should be that you get the armor set. That would be my preference, really. Or at least the actual recipe. And yeah, it would be nice if it had more attacks as well that you could utilize or do. Or maybe the idea is that you get off it and let it do its thing and help out a little bit more. But yeah, it didn't take long before I was overwhelmed by these bugs and rip another spidey. If you think I've missed anything, do let me know. Otherwise, enjoy trying to get one of these. Come and see me live stream Small Land on my brand new channel, JPG 100 Days. And I'll see you for more Small Land guides soon. Bye bye.